Now we're assembling the C3 block, and C3 is very straightforward. It's got all squares and rectangles, so we're just going to assemble this into rows. My X's, I've marked the uh, focus fabric pieces, just because it was easier for me to see that way. So basically, I'm going to just assemble each row and then put the rows together. So my pieces are already here. And I'm going to start on the bottom here and work my way up. I'm going to baste these opposite sides and then opposite sides. And then I'm going to do these opposite of that. So if I do these first and then these, I'm going to do these first, then these, so that there's some of these aren't got a ton of fabric built up. Because if you have the secondary fold on the secondary fold, there's a lot of layers there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this row basted so I can get it assembled. So I got the bottom row basted and now I will stitch them together. So I got the bottom row assembled. I'm going to set that aside and go up to the next row and baste and connect that one. Got the second row assembled and now I'm going to connect it to the first. So I've got both rows attached. I wanted to make sure I got my intersections right. I'm going to set this aside, and the next thing to do is to baste and connect the center row. So I finished assembling the center section, and now I will attach it to the bottom portion. So I've got the three rows assembled. I'm going to set this aside, and now I'm going to assemble both of these rows, and then I'm going to attach them together before attaching these. So let me get these rows basted. Let me get this row based in and assembled first. So I've got the top two rows all assembled. Now I'm going to stitch them together. So these two have been connected. Now the only thing that remains is to connect it to the rest of my block. So I've connected the last two sections and now my C3 block is completed.